So Dr. Ginolius, what are we doing today? Um, we're doing a vaginoplasty. This is the female anatomy, external genitalia, if you look at this. This is the clitoris. Labia majora. And this is labia minora. This is the rectum. And this is the vagina inside. Imagine as a tube going all the way to the cervix with the uterus above. This is the posterior foreshad, which usually is being destroyed during childbirth and it's open. Here is the perineum. During childbirth, there is a distraction I'll mention here. There is these muscles here on the side, inside. We call them levatorani. Your part, which is here. So, and the perineum is open. So after we remove the excess vaginal wall and we have placed the muscles in the midline, the vagina has become very narrow and we suture it all the way down, creating also the new perineum which blends very well. So the final result is a very narrow vagina. Vaginal wall, uh, the rectum, and here is the vagina, which is very, very narrow, except two figures. And that is permanent, unless you have another one or two children. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Janalius. Well explained.